Hey guys, today I'm about to talk about exosomes for hair regeneration, okay? How do we grow more hair with exosomes, okay? In a minute, I'm about to show you how, using exosomes, they were able to take this guy's face, check this out, he got a gasoline burn, he got a gasoline burn uh, with a party, you know, party, gasoline, fire, not good, so he got second degree burns all over his face, day zero, they sprayed exosomes on his face, I believe three times a day, uh, every day, and look at look at his face on day seven. Look at the regeneration from his face from here to here on day seven. Okay, almost a complete transformation. Of course, he still had uh, blotches, and then by day sixty, okay, he you know fully new face, baby skin. Okay, baby skin on his face. His his face was very 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 smooth, very young again. Okay, so this is the power of mesenchymal stem cell exosomes. Okay, now what are exosomes? Exosomes are the worker bees of the stem cell. Now, when a stem cell goes into the area, a lot of people believe that stem cells turn into uh, the cell where it's injected into. So for example, if you inject a stem cell into your joint, a lot of people think that, oh, the stem cell turns into cartilage, right? Uh, or if you inject the stem cell into your hair, the stem cell turns into hair uh, cells. That's actually not true. And so when you inject a stem cell into the area, it secretes these things called exosomes. Now these exosomes are the worker bees. They go out and they tell your system to start regrowing uh, growth factors there. Now I know that this is a little vague, but um, imagine this way, okay? Um, in the concept of let's say the face, right? And so what they did was they sprayed exosomes all over his face. And so the exosomes actually go into the area of the face and they tell uh, your body to regenerate the area because your body already has the ability to regenerate itself. It just needs the proper signaling to regenerate itself, okay? So that's why um, a lot of people believe that acupuncture uh, works really well or microneedling works really well because when you microneedle or when you use acupuncture, you're creating microinflammation and that tells the body, oh, uh, there's inflammation happening here, microinflammation. So let's turn on the um, the regenerative properties in that area, and that's why a lot of people think that that, that really works, and um, it can't work. So what we're doing here is uh, we're using exosomes here, and, and all exosomes do is they just tell the body to regenerate that part of you know wherever you inject the exosomes or the stem cells into. Okay, so when you inject a stem cell into an area, it secretes exosomes, and those exosomes tell the surrounding areas to regenerate that one area. Okay, and so for example. Uh, when they spread exosomes on this guy's face, the exosomes told his body to start regenerating the skin cells on his face, okay? All it did was just turn on the body's regeneration mechanism, okay? That, that's that's all that they do. They do it very efficiently, okay? Probably more powerful than any other uh, science that we have today, okay? And so today we're going to be talking about how you can use these exosomes to regrow your hair, okay? Look at this guy's um, hair. Look at how uh, thinning it is. Now look at it now. That's 12 weeks later, okay? Now look at this guy's bald spot. Look at his hair now. That's 12 weeks later. Okay, now uh, here's another one. This is also using exosomes. Look at, let me see if I can magnify that. Look at the bald spot right there. Now look at his hair there. That's 12 weeks later. Look at these bald spots right here. Now look at his hair now. That is 12 weeks later, guys. Okay, so obviously exosomes uh, play a very powerful role here. And we're really excited. We're going to start uh, we're actually started using them and we're actually already getting great results with the exosomes because we were using PRP. PRP is great. PRP is going to get you results. But if you want, you know, twice the results, you know, in, in half the time, you know, we were using stem cells and then we actually started getting better results with exosomes purely, not just stem cells, but just using exosomes. And so we've actually stopped using stem cells altogether because we, if we can use exosomes to get even better results, we're not even going to offer stem cells, okay? You can, get, you can go get stem cells somewhere else, but if you want even better results, in you know a shorter length of time, you're going to want to use exosomes. And so my purpose here today is to show you the actual studies uh, behind these. Okay, so uh, today I'm just going to show you. Uh, you can find you know you go to the novacenter.com, go to treatments. Okay, go to hair growth. You can go to exosome little hair growth. Okay, and uh, you'll land on this page. And uh, we sort of lightly explain uh, as simple as we can how exosomes can help restore your hair. Here's the thing: they have a lot of growth factors right there. They enable stem cells. Uh, they enable stem cell growth. Uh, they convert inflammatory cells into anti-inflammatory cells, okay? Uh, blood vessel formation, growth factors. Uh, but what does this all really mean, okay? That's that's what we're about to jump into right here, okay? So uh, one of the studies I'm going to share with you today uh, is how exosomes were able to regulate hair follicle development, okay? And uh, one thing I want to jump down to here is the actual results of the study they did on mice, Okay. And so what they were uh, going to do is injection of these exos, exosomes accelerated the onset of antigen and delayed catagen. What, what do those words mean? Antigen is basically the part of the hair growth cycle where the hair follicle is actually growing, okay? So it accelerated 
uh, antigen, so it accelerated that growth cycle. So all the hairs were growing more and it delayed catagen. Catagen is sort of like the death cycle of hair, okay? So uh, it makes them grow faster and it delays their death, okay? So another study that I wanted to pull up here, uh, let me scroll to the top just so you can see all the, all the research that they did. This is titled Extracellular Vesicles Derived from Mesocomal Stem Cells Activates Dermal papilla cell, DP cell, those are basically the hair stem cells that grow your hair in vitro and promotes hair follicle conversion from telogen to antigen. Uh, now, what's telogen? Telogen is like the last stage of the, the hair growth cycle. The telogen is like truly when the hair starts to fall out, okay? So it converts telogen, the hair falling out, back to antigen to uh, growing. So it, it basically takes a dying hair follicle and uh, makes it grow again, okay? So this is the study proving that. Uh, I want to jump down to the results. Because uh, you can read this study, okay? You can find this uh, on PubMed. You can find it literally anywhere. Just look up exosomes for hair and you'll be able to find it. But I want to jump down to uh, a specific part of the study where they actually talk about the actual results, right? Uh, here it is. DP cell. So your dermal papilla cell, that is the actual hair stem cell that helps regrow your hair and helps regenerate hair growth, right? Is necessary. Proliferation. What does proliferation mean? I pulled it up for you. Rapid increase in numbers, okay? So the hair stem cell... Uh, rapid increase in numbers is necessary for the morphogenesis and growth of the hair follicle, okay? So these, these DP cells are so important for the growth of your hair follicle is what they're saying. Mesenchymal, stems, uh, mesenchymal stem cell EVs, basically the exosomes, extracellular vesicles is another word for exosomes. When you see this right here in the study, that just means exosomes, okay? Exosomes were found to induce significant proliferations, a significant increase in numbers of the DP cells, of the hair stem cells, at rates robust as those reported for minoxidil. Minoxidil is a drug you can put, you know, you can use, and it does increase your hair growth, but it also creates massive side effects in your system that you don't want, okay? Terror, it's very bad for your system, but if we can get all the benefits of that drug, if we can get the results that that drug causes without any side effects at all and creates long-term growth, that's what we want, right? Um, okay, so it plays a critical role in mediating survival signals. Whether a cell should live or die is largely determined uh, by this anti-apoptotic regulator. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, basically, exosomes at all have also been proven to uh, prevent apoptosis. Basically, apoptosis is just cell death. So exosomes have been proven uh, to help prevent the death of cells, okay, making them live longer, okay, making them more functional, okay? Uh, taken together, activation of uh, AKT and increase in BCL2 by exosomes might prolong the survival of DP cells, might prolong the survival of your hair stem cells, okay? The, AK the AKT pathway may also be involved in regulating DP cell proliferation. What does that mean again? Uh, hair stem cell increase in numbers, okay? That's what we want. That's what we want to increase uh, your hair follicles, the number of hairs on your head and the thickness of them, okay? Uh, during this initial stage of hair follicle morphogenesis, DP cells self-aggregate in the dermis, okay, where they play a vital role in guiding the epidermal uh, pleco to develop follicle structures, okay? So basically, uh, they, uh, this study showed that microtissues are formed through the active migration and self-aggregation of DP cells. We also investigated the effect of mesenchymal uh, stem cell extracellular vesicles, exosomes, on DP cell migration, okay? And they uh, significantly enhance DP cell migration, all right? Uh, let's see, let's keep going. DP cells, the hair stem cells, are capable of releasing growth factors that direct epithelial cells to proliferate, leading to hair shaft growth and acceleration of hair regeneration. This is probably the most important part of the whole study, okay? So basically what they're saying is these DP cells lead to hair growth and acceleration of hair regeneration. So the more DP cells you have, the faster you're going to grow your hair. How do we get more DP cells? Exosomes. The exosomes are going to increase the amount of DP cells, which is going to increase your hair shaft growth and accelerate your hair regeneration, okay? So how do we get those DP cells? Exosomes. Our results revealed that um, these are just growth factors. Expression were released were significantly increased in a dose-dependent manner by exosome treatment, okay? So our results reveal that these growth factors and the release of the growth factors were significantly increased in dose-dependent manner by exosome treatment. Basically what they're saying is the more exosomes they gave them, the more growth factors uh, that they got, okay? So uh, the more hair acceleration they had, right? Several studies have shown that uh, VEGF, that's, that's a growth factor, can promote hair growth and large follicle size and what does that increase hair thickness, okay? In the skin, uh, IGF-1 is expressed by cells in the dermis and the DP of hair follicles and hair growth from human follicles can be achieved 
by stimulating IGF-1 induction in DP cells. Therefore, this is important, therefore the induced secretion of these two growth factors from DP cells after exosome treatment may play a positive role in promoting hair growth of hair follicles. Okay, guys, so this is the study that they did. You can see all the results uh, in this actual study. I'm going to play it back for you one more time. Here it is. Extracellular vesicles derived from MSCs activates dermal papilla cell in, in vitro and promotes hair follicle conversion from telogen to antigen in mice. Okay, this was done in 2017. All right, guys, so that's the study proving the effectiveness of the actual exosomes and kind of explains how it works in a very scientific term. I try to break it down to you as simple as I can. Basically, all you need to know is in order to grow hair, you need more DP cells, right? In order to grow hair, you need more DP cells. What's the best way to get more DP cells? Exosomes. So exosomes create more DP cells, which uh, creates faster hair growth, okay? This is the best way to, uh, you know, do this in 12 weeks. Would you guys like this if uh, you could grow back your hair like this in 12 weeks? Okay, exosomes. Exosomes is the way of the future, okay? If you could go from a balding spot right here to hair like that, wouldn't you guys like that? Wouldn't that be awesome if you could grow your hair back from, you know, patchy bald spots from here to, you know, thick growing hair like that. Wouldn't that be awesome, guys? Uh, here's another one I want to show you. Hair follicle dermal papilla cells at a glance. This sort of it just explains the DP cells that I was just talking about. This is another study that you can look up. But guys, if you want hair like this, if you want hair like this, uh, if you want to grow back your hair from patchy bald spots into, you know, thick luscious hair, okay, wouldn't that be awesome if you could do that? Well, you can, okay? Just go to the novacenter.com, okay? What you want to do is just go over to treatments, Go over to hair growth and, uh, you know, we have uh, other options too. Nutrafol, that's going to create this sort of soil that's that's needed to create inner wellness, to grow your hair from the inside out. Okay, that, that's the baseline. Okay, this is this is something we recommend to everybody. Red light therapy is the next level up. And then a lot of people do PRP. But if you want the best of the best, if you want the Ferrari of hair growth, if you want your hair to be the Ferrari of all hair, okay, get exosomes. Okay, we combine it with your PRP, so you're getting all the benefits of the PRP, and we combine it with your with uh, exosomes. And if you guys get this exosome treatment done, we're also just going to give you red light therapy and the Nutrafol for free. Okay, because uh, this is this is the best thing that we can do for you for your hair. As far as science goes, this is the best and the safest thing you can do for your hair right now. You can get a hair transplant, but you know it can leave scarring. There can be other, you know bad side effects that it can cause. You know, you can take drugs like Propecia and Minoxidil and uh, Rogaine. You, you know, you can take these drugs, but they're gonna have terrible side effects. So if you wanna regrow your hair all naturally, this is the best thing you can do. As of right now, as far as science is concerned, this is better than stem cells. This is better than PRP. This is better than red light therapy. This is better than any supplement you can take. We're gonna include red light therapy and supplementation, okay? We're gonna include that with you to get your results faster. But if you wanna achieve the fastest results, go to Go to thenovacenter.com, go to treatments, go over to uh, exosome hair growth and um, just fill out the form right here and uh, fill out the form. We'll give you a call and we can talk. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.